Hello, I'm Dottie Morrison, and I'm here to invite you to a special event for Women's Connections. It's going to be this Wednesday at 1015 in the Village Church in the Hospitality Room, and our speaker is a special person named Marilyn Westergren, and she's here with me today. Welcome, Marilyn. Thank you, Dottie. Now, Marilyn, you're an, you and your husband are international workers in Spain, but for this year, you're living in Shell Point. That's right. So tell me how that works and why you're here. Well, normally every we're four years in our in Spain uh -huh. in the field of work, mm -hmm. and then come home for one year for home assignment. Okay. And we have never lived near Tim's mom, uh -huh. Marlene Westergren, and um, she moved to Shell Point about a year ago. Right. Yeah. And so we thought, why don't we try to see if there's a way that we could live near her? Uh -huh. So we contacted the village church, and they communicated with. Uh, Shell Point Village uh -huh. and found housing for us okay. and so we've been able to come as the missionaries in residence for the okay. village church and then spend lots of great time with mom. Okay and in the meantime you and your husband both are doing work here at the church but also uh, traveling a lot talking to other churches That's and sharing right. about your work. Yeah. Okay so living in Spain. I've been to Spain. It's a wonderful place. It is. What do you like especially about living in Spain? What's mm -hmm. special? Well, not only does it have a rich history and vast history, it also has a wonderful culture and amazing food. <laughs> but as far as the culture goes, what I have valued most over the years is the fact that they are really focused on event mm -hmm. rather than goal. And I tend to be a very goal-oriented person. I have my list of things yeah. I want to do every day, and I'm so happy when I can check everything off my <laughs> list. But Spaniards are very willing to take whatever time is necessary to enjoy the event. Mm -hmm. And it has helped me to slow down and really focus on people and their needs and their interests mm -hmm. and uh, set aside those goals a little bit. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a benefit to you. It yeah. has. That's great. Yeah. What kinds of activities and interactions do you and your husband do with uh, mm -hmm. people that you are there working with? Well, one of the ways that we have been able to connect with Spaniards or serve them is in the past 10 years, they have really seen how critical it is to, to speak English well. Okay. And since we are native English speakers, yes. um, they have come to us often for help. And okay. so a lot of our activities are using English mm -hmm. in order to help them. So mm -hmm. we do English camp in the summer for children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a girls club in English. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Life Tree Cafe, which is a conversation, round table conversations in English, guided, sure. guided sure. discussion. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do other things like marriage encounter that doesn't use English and a youth encounter as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that are really um, activity, activities where we come alongside married couples mm -hmm. or teens, young adults and try to help them, I don't know, work through some issues mm -hmm. and improve in communication skills and things like mm -hmm. that to invest in their, in their relationships. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this Wednesday, you're going to be telling us more about these events and also some other things. What else will we hear about this Wednesday? Yeah, one of the things that I'm most excited about is something that I have been wanting to do for more than 10 years, really? um, but just finally came into being um, in September, Okay, and that is Life International School. And, and what does that mean? It's an English immersion school, a Christian school for Spaniards that started in our city just I in see. September. Okay, and what grades does that cover? Well, it started out, we've started with um, preschoolers, three uh -huh. to five years old, and then every year we hope to add a grade or I more, see. depending on okay. the demand and our teachers. Okay, well, we look forward to hearing about that and your other activities. And I know you're going to want to come and hear Marilyn. It's going to be 1015 Wednesday, October 18th in the Village Church. Come a little early because we have wonderful refreshments and knock on a neighbor's door and invite them. We'd love to have all of you come.